In this video, I'll show you how to set up this one for all six devices universal remote control with your TV. But what I'll show you next also works with sound bars, home theaters, DVD players, cable boxes and other devices because this is able to pair up to six of them. So let's get started. So there are three different ways on how to pair it. The first one is very easy and if it does not work with your TV brand or device brand, just go to the second method I'll show you and if that one does not work, go to the third one. So the first method is called simple set. This is because it works only with a few different brands and I'll put this on the screen right now. And all you have to do is to find your TV brand or your device brand and take note of the number that is located on the left side. Just take note. So the first step is to press on the device you want to pair. In my case, it's a TV. If yours is different, press on another button here. Press on TV and then keep holding setup until TV blinks twice. Okay, it blinked twice, I can remove. And now go on the numbers down below and press the number associated with your brand. Once the TV turns off or your device turns off, release that number, release your finger from that number. If you're using a streaming box or a device that does not turn off, this will send a play pause signal. So maybe open a movie or something. And once the movie play or pause, release your finger from the number pad. The LED over here will blink twice. You may missed it, but it blinked twice simply to say that it has registered that code. And this is it. Now, if I turn it on using the power button, the TV powers on and I can use all the buttons since now it has been paired with my TV. Now let's go to the second method on how to pair this remote control with your device. This one is set up by code because we'll need to enter a special code. So the same thing, turn on your device. In my case, the TV is already turned on. Press the device key that you want to pair. So it's a TV in my case. I'll press once. And again, I will hold the setup button until TV blinks twice. Okay, it blinked twice. I can remove my finger. And now we need to enter really quickly a code over here that is associated with your brand. Now I'll put on the screen before you attempt this, the codes, so you can find your TV brand or soundbar brand or whatever. Just take a minute and pause the video so you see better. You can also find those codes on the One For All brand website in case you prefer to do it this way. But in my case for LG, there is a few of them. So you may found that there is four or even six different codes for your brand. You'll need to try them all. Maybe the first one will be the right one to make sure that all the buttons are working. So let's just do it. In my case, the L for the LG, the first code is the 1840. So I'll restart this process because if you're not typing the code quickly enough, the remote will go out, out, uh, go out of pairing mode. So I'm tapping TV once and I'm holding the setup button until TV blinks twice. Okay, I need to type 1840. Then after enter entering this code, the LED here will blink twice. And I need to press the power button to see if it works. If it works, you're good to go. It simply means that the code has worked and you don't need to do anything else. If the code didn't work, just enter the next code. So restart the same process and enter a new code, then press the power button and check if it works. So this was how to pair this remote control with a code. And for the last method on how to pair your one for all remote control, you'll need the original remote of your device because we'll make this one learn each button from this one. To do this, you'll need again to press the device you want to learn, then keep press setup until this button blinks twice, release your button, and then we need to enter the number over here, 975. It will blink twice just to show you that it's in learning mode. Press the power button here. It will blink very fast and press the power button on your other remote. 
it will blink twice to show you that it has learned that button. And then you'll need to repeat this process with all the other buttons because it has only learned the power button right now. Usually after learning one button and when it uh, blinks twice, you can go ahead, press the next button and go ahead, press the button on your original and do this like that. If you wait too much time, it will exit pairing mode and you'll need to re-enter it by doing the same process. It needs to be at least two or five centimeter close one from each other. So this is it. This is how you pair your one for all essential remote control that is working with six different devices. I hope it was useful. If so, please leave a like, comment down below, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next video.